my name is Todd England, and I'm Vice President for HTML5 Web and Mobile Tools at Telerik. And we build a product called Kendo UI, which is a pretty neat framework. Uh, it's it's uh, everything you need to build websites and mobile apps with HTML and JavaScript. And our goal is to give people the premium tools they need to really make HTML5 a platform that they can build awesome sites or awesome mobile apps on today. We wanted to break it down and first of all make the case for HTML5 because there are obviously a lot of choices people have today. Do I build native and then choose to build multiple times for multiple platforms or do I build HTML5 and if I do choose to go HTML5, can I achieve the kind of results I want? Can I get the look and feel? Can I get the behavior of a native app? Uh, can I deploy it to an app store? What are the limits? How do I overcome those? Because there are some in HTML5. And in our session, we tried to make the case, make sure that people understand this is how it compares to native, and then show them practically, some using Kendo UI Mobile, how it helps you build an app quickly, and some using open source tools like Cordova, how you can take an HTML5 app that looks really cool, wrap it up in Cordova, and then add native SDK features to uh, an otherwise just HTML5 app. So it's a cool session. We try to give people the information they need to go be successful building mobile apps with HTML5. Can UI Mobile enables people to build HTML5 mobile apps uh, a lot more productively. We're a productivity multiplier. So if you've chosen HTML5, that's the route you want to go. What we're able to do is basically say, you can build your app with Kendo UI Mobile on top of this core technology stack, and we're going to automatically adapt your UI to look native, to behave natively on the different major platforms. So if I build my app on iOS, it looks like iOS. On Android, it looks like Android. On BlackBerry, it looks like BlackBerry. And those are the three major platforms today, so that's the three we're targeting today. And basically what we allow people to do is, or what we do really is we give them the fastest way to build a mobile app with HTML5 to target the largest number of mobile users. So if your goal is reach with mobile, Kendo UI can help you get there as fast as possible. HTML5 is exciting in general because it's just evolving so quickly. I mean, it's, it's a renaissance period again for a technology that is so broadly deployed, you can use it in a number of different places. I mean, there are a lot of technologies that evolve every year, but HTML5 is one of the only technologies which you could look at and say, all the major giants are behind it. Google's behind it, Microsoft's behind it, Apple's behind it, Adobe's behind it. I mean, what technology can you find that has this much energy from this many companies. Uh, so to have that energy in this space and to see things like the media APIs that are giving HTML apps native access to webcams and to, to audio input or uh, all the things that give us the ability to make an HTML app feel like a native app, a desktop app or a native mobile app, that's just exciting because it's a technology we all know and love and now it's being given the power to allow us to let our imagination run free and deliver the apps we've always wanted to build. I mean, to be fair, and I've done a lot of HTML5 talks over time, HTML5 in itself is an umbrella term. And really when we say HTML5, we kind of imply all these things are evolving at the same time in this HTML5 umbrella. So it is CSS3, it is the new JavaScript APIs, it is everything that's related, including HTML, is kind of captured under that HTML5 umbrella. And you really can't have one without the other. In fact, one of the things that makes the HTML5 evolution so unique compared to the previous iterations of HTML is that it is looking at these different pieces. It is addressing at the spec level how should HTML interact with JavaScript? How should CSS interact with HTML? And in the past, the specs have never done that, which is why we had such inconsistent browser support. And as developers, we had all these headaches of how do we make it work in all these different browsers. That's being done a little bit better now as we evolve in this HTML5 era. So it's really exciting to have everything evolving at the same time, evolving with awareness of each other so as developers, our lives get easier, and we can do more as these features roll out. HTML5 is going to evolve, I think, continue to evolve very quickly. Uh, again, with this much energy behind it, this many companies pushing on it to go further faster, uh, I think the only thing we can expect to see is that it will very soon, maybe in the next two to three years, have most of the capabilities that we would need for the so-called average application. I mean, there will always be edge cases, the apps that need to tie into the native device to leverage the full power of the underlying processor. But for a lot of apps, HTML5 will soon have all the power we need to build those scenarios and then because it's HTML, we can deploy them across different platforms, across different devices, not to rebuild those apps over and over again. So I'm really excited to see that reality come to fruition, to see us get to that point where we don't have many limits in HTML5. We have just a platform that we can work with, and I think we're going to get there in the next two to three years.